Outcomes of Laboratory Session 1. Able to determine the standard consistence and initial setting time of cement in accordance to BSEN 196-3. 2. Able to explain the effect of a specific type and amount of mineral admixture on the standard consistence and initial setting time of cement. Objectives 1. To determine and compare the standard consistence and initial setting time of an ordinary Portland cement OPC and mixture of OPC with a selected mineral admixture based on the procedures stipulated in BSEN 196-3-2005 using the VCAT apparatus. 2. To verify the compliance of the tested cement samples with that of the BSEN 197-1 in term of initial setting time. Summary of Procedures for Standard Consistence Test The zero reading of the VCAT apparatus with the standard consistency plungula tightly attached is set by lowering the plungula to rest on the base plate. Then the plunger is raised and locked in a standby position. 500 grams of cement sample OPC or blended cement OPC plus a mineral admixture is weighed in a mixing bowl. Suitable amount of distilled water is measured using the graduated cylinder, example 130 milliliters, 26% from mass of cement. The distilled water is poured onto the dry cement within 10 seconds while the stopwatch is started concurrent with the addition of water onto the dry cement. The cement and water are mixed using gloved hand in the mixing bowl to get uniform cement paste within 180 seconds. The cement paste is then transferred into the VCAT mold which rests on the base plate and the top surface of the paste is leveled. Immediately after leveling the paste, the mold together with the base plate are transferred to the VCAT apparatus position centrally underneath the plunger. The plunger is carefully lowered until it is just in contact with the surface of the cement paste and locked in that position for one or two seconds. Then the moving part of the VCAT apparatus is released to allow the plunger to penetrate vertically into the cement paste. Releasing of the plunger should happen within 240 plus minus 10 seconds after the addition of water. The value of penetration is read and recorded 5 seconds after the penetration of plunger has ceased or 30 seconds after the release of the plunger, whichever is the earlier. The plunger is cleaned immediately after each penetration. The penetration reading distance between bottom of plunger and the base plate is recorded together with the percentage of water used in the cement paste. The test is repeated on pastes with different water contents until one is found with penetration of 6 plus minus 2 millimeters. The amount of water is recorded to the nearest 0.5% as the water for standard consistency. The VCAT apparatus is securely attached with the initial setting time needle and a zero penetration reading is set by lowering down the moving part of the apparatus until the needle rests on the top of the base plate. The moving part of the apparatus is then raised and locked in standby position. A fresh cement paste of standard consistence is prepared using the water content obtained in the standard consistence test. Zero time is taken when the water is first poured onto the dry cement. The cement paste is filled into the VCAT mold placed centrally on a base plate, and the surface is leveled.
filled mold together with the base plate is then placed in a water bath maintained at 20 plus minus 1 degree Celsius with the surface of the cement paste submerged at least 5 millimeters below water level. After a suitable time, the filled mold together with the base plate is taken out from the water bath and placed centrally underneath the VCAT needle. The moving part is carefully lowered until the needle just touching the surface of the cement paste and locked. Then the moving part is quickly released so as to allow the needle to penetrate vertically into the cement paste. The penetration value is read and recorded when the penetration has ceased or 30 seconds after the release of the moving part. Whichever is earlier penetration is the distance between the bottom of the needle to the base plate. The penetration is repeated on the same cement paste sample at conveniently spaced position not less than 8 mm from the rim of the mold or 5 mm from each other and at least 10 mm from the last penetration position. At conveniently spaced intervals of time, for example at 10 minutes intervals, the needle is cleaned immediately after each penetration. Between the penetrations, the sample is kept in the water bath. The elapsed time from zero time to the time when a penetration value of 6 plus minus 3 millimeters is obtained is recorded and reported as the initial setting time of the cement to the nearest 5 minutes. Results and discussion 1. Compare and discuss the effect of partial replacement of OPC with the specific type and amount of mineral admixture on the observed water demand based on the standard consistence and on the initial setting time. 2. Compare and discuss the compliance of the tested cement samples with the requirement of EN 197-1, with regards to minimum initial setting time. 